When using Scratch, we often use variables and have to find one of them and put it in the input box, which can be time-consuming for creators. With searchable drop-downs, you can easily search and select the reporter block you want to add. Of course, you can also search in other drop-down menus, such as for broadcast and customs. You can enable this feature in settings. Give it a try now. The feature to switch among similar blocks has also been added. You can turn this feature on in the settings. Afterward, right-click on a block, and you can select a similar block. Sometimes a Scratch project may have a large number of costumes, which can slow down the project's opening speed. Now, you can enable load project assets asynchronously in the settings. After enabling this feature, assets will be loaded after the project is opened. In this way, you can quickly start editing your code. In March, Scratch Game Jam number 2 successfully concluded. Many excellent projects emerged from this game jam. And I have a video introducing them. You can check it out on my channel. In addition, Scratch Game Jam number 3 is now open for join. And the link is in the video description. Come and join us. Starting from this week, we will create a new channel called Scratch Game Maker. From now on, tutorial content will be updated on that channel. If you want to see more tutorials, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Updates on Gandhi IDE and the creative event will still be posted on this channel. That's all for what's new in Gandhi IDE in March. Don't forget to subscribe and stay up to date on the latest news. See you next time.